tracks west in a tidal wave of hope. May 1846. Thousands of men, women, and children. Riding, walking, pushing. They're heading for a new life 2,000 miles away. It was a land of opportunity. You can make of yourself what you want. You're only held back by your own desires. Germans. Belgians, French, Catholics, Presbyterians, Mormons. One of the world's great mass migrations begins. The pioneer spirit has moved on. In this colossal migration to Oregon and California, America will finally define its character. It's the American dream. Then, as now, the people want an already good life to get better. They can walk 10 miles a day for up to six months straight. Some go through 10 pairs of boots each. Half are children. En route, one in five of the women are pregnant. But these aren't America's poor. Families sell farms, save for five years to join the exodus, risking it all. I think if there is one episode that encapsulates the American spirit, I think it is probably the move west. Whip those mules and horses and cross those rivers and cross over those mountains to the unknown and say, I'm leaving everything behind. I'm leaving everything that I know behind to reinvent myself. A wagon and oxen cost minimum $5,000 in today's money. But it buys a complete life support machine. The wagons carry a precious cargo, a thousand pounds of supplies, and a grub stake for your journey, your entire new life in the West. The pioneering spirit is ingenious, essential drinking water captured from rain on the wagon canvas. Even the oxen's dung is fuel for fires. And like today, there are tolls. Native Americans charge $10 for road and $100 for river crossings in modern money. But the greatest toll of all, human lives. In all, 20,000 Americans will die reaching the West, 10 graves for every mile. 